Brace yourself. Winter is coming. Okay. Technically, it's already here. And so are the cold nights. I recently moved, and this is my second winter in a state that actually has winter. And I've had to relearn how to deal with real cold. And there's a few things I do at night to keep warm without cranking the heat up to 90 degrees. At my age, feeling chilly at night means the next day is going to be very sore and painful. Now right up front, don't sleep with kerosene space heaters. They need to be tended to. There's a risk of carbon monoxide poisoning and, more commonly, fires. In fact, no open flames while everyone is asleep. It's just too much of a fire risk. Don't do it. Most people add a blanket or two and call it good. And that works. But I like to make sure I've got a backup. Extra blankets to add after that. If you've ever shared a bed with someone who steals the covers, you'll know why this is important. Now if you're already cold from shoveling snow off the driveway so you're not snowed in the next morning, the extra insulation can get you back up to temperature. And when you get hot, you can pull the extra blanket off. Now my backup blankets are generally smaller. If a particular leg or arm is bothering me, I fold the blanket over it to warm the muscles up on that limb. Now I've also used towels for extra insulation. Something that's proven handy on cold, wet backpacking trips, where I'm wearing everything I've got and I'm still cold inside the sleeping bag. Something that helps warm you back up and end the tug of war for the covers, or at least postpone them, is preheating. When I was a kid, we used hot water bottles. Now these days, there are rice bags you can microwave and warm up the bed. They hold heat for several hours. And when my muscles cramp up because they're cold, a rice bag helps loosen them up or stop them from cramping in the first place. It's just as good as electric blanket without the fire hazard of worn wires. Rice bags don't travel well and you may not have a microwave to warm them up while you're staying, but that's a small drawback. Reducing the area you need to heat. Closing up the room makes a noticeable difference. And I'm bad about this. I used to leave the closet doors open. But the less space around the bed that needs to be heated, the better. So now I shut the closet door, close the bedroom door, and pull the curtains for my windows. Now that stops a lot of the drafts. And it keeps the warmth in one room. In some of the older houses I've lived in, I've even used dirty laundry to plug the gaps underneath the doors, but the less area around the bed, the higher the ambient temperature, and the more the body heat stays under the covers. Now something I do to make getting up in the morning easier is put the clothes I'm going to be wearing the next day within reach of the bed. I pull them under the covers in the morning, they warm up, and it's easier to put them on. And I'll openly admit, I don't like getting up at all. When it's cold and the bed is the warmest spot in the room, I'm less willing to get up. Having warm clothes to slip right into that reduces the shock, makes it easier and faster to get to warmth, or at least to a warm cup of coffee. I hope these simple tips help keep you warm at night this winter. Thanks for watching and good luck.